To say I love film, I consider an understatement. Film for me has been more like a third parent, something that has raised me and has taught me valuable life lessons that form me into the person I am today. It's easy to talk about the moment I knew I loved film. That's when my mum first took me to the cinema when I was five, and I was terrified of it because it was a gigantic dark room. I was expected to just stay still in for two hours. The moment I knew I wanted to make films was when I was 13. My dad used to have, still does have, this gigantic closet full of restricted films. And we, were, we never went near there. That was dad's closet. You never went near dad's closet. But it was in the wide open as if he wanted us to take a film from there. So when I was 13, I snuck a clockwork orange up from that closet to my bedroom. And what I was expecting was a night where I was just going to indulge in this slasher film. Instead, what I got was a film that scarred me for life in the best way possible. I don't know what it was, whether it's Kubrick's visuals, the juxtaposition music, or the sheer performances, but the moment the first frame came on, Alex's face just glaring into your soul. I was shaking. And I knew from that moment on, I wanted to make a film to that level that would one day scar a 13 year old in their bedroom for life in the same way. There was me, that is Alex, and my three droogs. Hello, I'm Fiona Cox, I'm the mother of Peter Collins. Peter loved films right from the very beginning. I, I think the first time we ever took him to the cinema, he was three, and we went to see the Wallace and Gromit Curse of the Were Rabbit, and that was it. After that, any time we needed to give him a treat, or any time we wanted to try to cheer him up about anything, uh, we would go off to the cinema and it never failed. Uh, sometimes we wouldn't tell him that that's what we were going to do. We'd just park in town. And as we walked towards the cinema and light dawned that that was where we were going, his smile got bigger and bigger and he'd walk quicker and quicker until we got there. I believe we have a choice in this world about how to tell sad stories. Probably the best cinema trip we ever had was when he was about 13 and he'd had a really horrible week at school. Um, and some of the people who'd made him miserable were going to scout camp, which is where he was supposed to be going that weekend. Um, and because it had all been so rotten, I allowed him to bunk off. But his dad and younger brother still went to scout camp, so it was only Peter and me that weekend. And we decided um, that we'd go off and see The Fault in Our Stars on the Friday evening, which he absolutely loved. And I think it's still one of his favourite films, even today. Uh, and on the in the car on the way home, I remember saying to him, that was such a nice evening. Should we do it all again exactly the same tomorrow night? Um, and he was delighted by that. So that's exactly what we did. Uh, and it's one of my favorite memories with Peter. I am in love with you, Hazel Grace. And I know that love is just a shout into the void and that oblivion is inevitable. And I am in love with you. Yeah, of course I remember that weekend pretty well. Um, very well actually, I still get that sort of adrenaline inside of me still thinking about it and it was definitely the best weekend I think I've ever had and one of the most rewarding cinema experiences and it's one of those films that's always stuck with me, you know, I remember I was still grieving about it a year later and out of nowhere I would just start crying in class and people would look at me and be like, what the hell are you crying about? I was like, a film I, I watched a year ago.